Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization here at Sweetwater Sound. Today we are honored to show you the Korg Monolog Monophonic Analog Synthesizer. prototype we don't even have an owner's manual yet but we wanted to show you as soon as possible so um, one thing you'll notice when you look at it is that it has a lot of similarities to the Korg mini log uh, and it's definitely related but it has new features for one uh, it comes in five colors you can get it in silver gold black red blue it also has some new features it has a new drive so it lets you do distortion and overdrive and pull out different harmonics um, it has a new LFO that goes way up into screaming audio frequencies, lets you do all kind of FM and other tricks, uh, has a fast mode, a slow mode, and a one-shot mode that lets you also use it like an envelope. Uh, another exciting thing is that the sequencer has 16 buttons now uh, because every uh, patch has 16 steps of sequence that you can store. Now you can edit in real time on the fly without having to go to page one and page two. Um, also, uh, you have a thing that lets you choose between note, edit, and so you can do rests and things like that, uh, which particular notes get slide, and then motion. And when you're in motion, you now can see four different tracks of motion, which is knob turning uh, in real time, and you can see that on the very cool old LED screen. Um, it has the nice real wood back. It's got MIDI in, MIDI out, audio sync in and out. Uh, it has a headphone out as well as a standard line out. Uh, it also has an audio inject that lets you come through the mixer and the filter and the final amplifier. The filter is new. Uh, it is a two pole uh, with resonance uh, designed to just make really screaming, biting sounds for this. And uh, the patches are all very uh, modern sounding. There's 100 presets and uh, 80 of them are uh, factory, and then 20 can be user. Okay, so if we start at an init program, I can show you uh, the oscillator. So here's a sawtooth, triangle, and square. And then each of these have shape, so you can change the shape over time. And if you watch the OLED screen, you can kind of see what's going on. That can be modulated in real time. Here's triangle. And square. So clearly that's pulse width. Then on VCO2, we have similar ones. The, the uh, sawtooth, the triangle, but now we have noise. And those each oscillators can each be mixed uh, with the mixer. And then, uh, so now we'll do uh, two oscillators, both on sawtooth, and then we'll slightly detune them. So here's the first one. And bring in the second one. And notice that the keys, the 25, can go from E to E. Uh, that helps with the bass lines, so you can go down to your low E. Also, uh, we can do oscillator sync. And we could also... Uh, modulate that with a LFO that can go into oscillator frequencies and we can also modulate with the envelope. Uh, then it has ring modulation. <laughs> Tr 
try that with some drive. So clearly you can hear you can get all these modern wave shape sounds as well as your standard sawtooth triangle square uh, and noise. And now uh, let me show you like some of the sequences. So all of the uh, factory presets come with built-in sequences and kind of neat you can you can trigger it from the play button and notice that you can have per step they have slides. I can do motion sequences I put it in record. that stays and I can go and record another track of something else and then one more so one new feature that I really like is the key trigger slash hold button when you press it once, it now starts the sequences when you press a key and it starts at the pitch that you play. You can also just play normally and then hold and it'll play the sequence. If you hold this button until it blinks, you now have a hold feature which lets you use two hands to tweak while the sequence goes on. rest notes here now I know some of you want to hear just plain synthesizer sounds so maybe we'll we'll build something real simple here we'll uh, throw the filters wide open just start with oscillator one shaping bring an oscillator two Sawtooth. I'll do some filter modulation with the uh, envelope. through the filter.
Now I'll show you some of the um, editing things that are underneath these buttons. So you hit the edit mode button. If you start a program at it, you can see you got these lights here. The first one is portamento time. The little dots show you that there are more pages, so you just keep hitting the button. So here I can set my portamento time. Here I can set whether it's auto or on. So it's either always on or when you ever hold two notes, then it goes on. And then the last one is your slide time. Next parameter you have is uh, pitch bend range. And in each direction you can set uh, anywhere from 12 notes to one note, uh, both in positive and negative directions. So another feature that uh, is unique to the monologue is the new microtuning feature. So I can go into program edit, go to microtuning, here's equal tuning, but I can also do and I also have pentatonic scales major pentatonics reverse, uh, as well as user scales that you can program per step, uh, both for octaves and individual notes. You can store those and call them up. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, I don't have the manual, so I can't go into great detail with that. But uh, some other parameters, you have um, uh, LFO, you can do BPM sync on and off, uh, a keyboard tracking of filter, uh, velocity to cutoff, velocity to amplifier, uh, the total program level, and then you can name it. Uh, you also have uh, initialized programs, so you can start from scratch. You can also dump programs, save programs. Um, so uh, overall, just a really powerful thing here. So now I want to show you their new LFO that goes up into audio range. Uh, I'll start with a blank program and uh, so we'll use the LFO, we'll, we'll have it set to triangle, and we'll first start with pitch. So we can start really slow. And that's fast, but that's still in the slow mode. So now as I bring that into the fast mode, we can start from here. I can also do that for shape. So now we're modulating the shape of the waveform with the LFO. And cut off. And then there's one shot. And what that does is it lets the LFO do its shape one time, which lets you use it more like a, a, a short little envelope. So if I turn it up here, so now I'm just using it as a single AD uh, attack with a decay. And that's set by the rate. It's a one shot of triangle and a one shot of square.
Obviously, there's a lot you can do with this thing. Um, my name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any further questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.